Hi everyone, welcome back to Fan Funko. I'm Neil. I decided to start doing a collection video. Well, it's going to end up being a series. And so this is going to be part one. I decided to start with my DC Pops. They are my biggest collection. And to be honest, I figured they might be easiest because I actually knew where they all were. So I went through all my DC Pops, put them in number order. Uh, put together a bit of a video for you. I'm not going to name off every single pop, but I do mention some of the ones that are some of my favorites. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is going to be multiple parts. I'm not sure how many parts it's going to be. It's going to take quite a while to get through all my pops, but I'm excited to finally start to show off my end collection. i um, been working on the collection for quite a long time. I started collecting pops probably in 2014 and then for personal reasons stopped in late 2016 and then recently picked up at the beginning of uh, 2019 so you'll see a little bit of a gap in my DC collection where I'm missing pops from like beyond 170 till mid maybe mid 200s but yeah so very excited to get this started and like I said I'm not going to name off every pop but I will go through a few and hope you enjoy. First we have some of the 01 Batmans here. My favorite one is the Rainbow Batman by far. Also a big fan of the three different color variants I have. Hoping to finish those off. I uh, really like that first appearance Joker. Also the Superman. Love those boxes that just say vinyl figure under the character. Uh, next up we got the Wonder Woman. Also very cool. That Hal Jordan and Sinestro, those were actually the first pops I ever owned. And uh, I really like those Domo Batmans down at the bottom. Uh, the Batman and the Superman down there are also very cool. Uh, the Superboy, that's one I'm really happy I got. Also the Batman Beyond, those ones were early ones. The Joker Bank Robber, there's, that is my biggest grail in my whole DC collection. So happy I picked that pop up. So we got the Joker from uh, 66 Batman and a couple Harley Quinn, pink Harley Quinns. Here we got the Judge Dredd, very cool. Batman Unmasked, uh, three different Batmans from Arkham Asylum, some more, more Arkham Asylum pops. I uh, really like the uh, Bizarro, Bizarro Superman pop from Hot Topic, very cool. We also have uh, a couple of Loot Crate Jokers, Batman Jokers, those are both damaged. I can never get that pop in good condition, ordered it three times. Uh, we got the Black Lantern Reverse Flash, very cool. Also, I like some of those Arkham Asylum pops. We have Swamp Thing here, it's probably my favorite one here. Love the uh, PX previews exclusive swamp thing also we got the armored batman that one is uh from the first dc um legion of collectors box very cool pop uh, here we have a bunch of suicide squads that joker with tuxedo i recently actually picked up in a trade with char happy to get that we got the inmate harley quinn from gamestop cool pop Bunch of PX, PX previews exclusives on the bottom and Steampunk Batman. That one's always been one of my favorites. And, uh, we got some in Popsters. Love the Surf's Up Batman and Surf's Up Joker. Still looking to add the two pack to my collection. And the I really like the Joker and Harley Quinn on the beach one. I don't have that two pack yet. I uh, got the Golden Age Batman from Specialty Series. Uh, here you're seeing some of my fir the first ones of my black box Batmans. We got the teal and the red metallic from Target. Love that cart uh, Clark Kent from Hot Topic. The Joker, New York Comic Con. Batgirl is also a New York Comic Con. Uh, here we got a Wonder Woman chase. The Joker with kisses chase, both from the Bombshell line. Uh, Jungle Batman from the Funko Shop, numbered out of 10,000. Just kind of silly. Uh, Bane from Batman the Animated Series, Batman Robot. Uh, here we have a bunch more of the Bombshells and the Catwoman Chase from the Bombshells. Also have another Black Box Batman. 
I believe that one is the Dawnbreaker. Also, Constantine. That was uh, from pre-comic book day last year. That one's also numbered. Uh, here we have the Batman from Target. That is the Bombshells. Uh, thanks, Nick Adams, for helping me get that one. Appreciate it, buddy. Also, uh, that Joker is really awesome on the bottom. We got the Red Wing Robin. Also cool. Two more Black Box Batmans. Uh, this picture is pretty much all black box Batman with, I got the San Diego Comic-Con black box Batman where he's holding the, bag, the tote bag and also the Batman Beyond black metallic, love that pop, cost me kind of quite a bit of money but happy to have it, and the black box Joker Wild, I love that pop so much, such a good looking pop, we also got the two Batmites there, the metallic one. A uh, bunch of Harley Quinns. There's been uh, quite a few released recently, as you can see. Especially with now Birds of Prey being released. Here we got a few more Birds of Prey, including the Hot Topic exclusive Harley Quinn Booby Trap Battle. Uh, and then a few more Black Box Batmans to finish it off. Love that blue Hot Topic exclusive uh, Batman Merciless. Such a good looking pop. Uh, here we're going to get into some of the two packs and oversized stuff. Uh, we have the Flash and Superman, Blue Beetle and Booster Gold, Chip Guy, sorry, Chip, Guy Gardner, and Kilowog. And then the Zebra and Bullseye Batmans, very cool from Hot Topic, and then the Doomsday. Uh, next up, the Stanley Deluxes. I love these pops. We got the Joker, the Aquaman, the Flash, the Catwoman, and the Superman. Uh, I'm still in need of the Batman Hush, and also the Wonder Woman, which was the last one released, just haven't picked it up. Here we have my pop rides. We got the Invisible Jet Wonder Woman, the original Batmobile, and the Black Boxed. Uh, what year is that, 1959 I believe, or just 50s? There's a close-up of the Invisible Jet, it's such a huge pop. Uh, here are my moments. We have the Batman and Catwoman just moment. We have Batman with the Hall of Justice. The Jim Lee Green Lantern and Batman. Batman and Robin. Batman vs. the Joker from 1989. And then uh, Commissioner Gordon and Batman with the light up bat signal. And here are my two grails. We have the autographed Adam West 1966 and the autographed Burt Ward Robin from 1966. So, that was all of my DC Pops. Uh, that was a lot of fun showing them all off, going through them all. To be honest, there was a few I forgot I even had. So it was nice to be able to see them and be able to add them to the Funko app so I don't rebuy them. Um, and, yeah. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. Like I said, in the intro, this is going to be multiple parts. So don't know what is going to be next. Don't know where to start. Uh, none of my collections are as large as the DC were, so I'll be able to cover multiple uh, different genres in each of the next couple videos. And then I'm actually going to finish it. The last video is going to be all my pops I have up for trade or sale. I figured why not show all of them off too, and any of you watching that might need any of them, maybe we can work something out. So, um, yeah, so that's everything for today. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can find all three of us on Instagram. And yeah, we'll catch you down the road. Bye.